I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn about stem and leaf plots. We will also understand how and in which situation it is advantageous to use stem and leaf plots. Let us take up an example. Height of 20 students in centimeters is given below. So this is the height of 20 students. This we normally refer to as raw data. 143 centimeters, 160 centimeters, 154 centimeters and so on. It is not arranged, it's just random, right? So as you measure the height, you just make a note of it. Okay, based on this data, we have these four questions to answer. First one, display the data in a stem and leaf plot. B. Find the range of height. C. What is the mode? What is the mode height? D. What is the median height? So these are the four questions for you to answer based on the given data. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, let's begin by displaying the data in a stem and leaf plot. So we have two columns basically in stem and leaf plot. So the first column we'll refer to as stem and the other one as leaf. In leaf, we'll be only writing the ones place, right? So a number here, for example, 143. So hundreds and tens place will come in the stem part and three, which is in one's place, will be written in the leaf part, right? Now, before entering the values, we should kind of have a general view of the data. It starts from one, four, three, and highest number seems to be one, eight, six. So that means in STEM, we have numbers like 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 correct so looking at highest number and the lowest number provides us the range in which these numbers are going to be arranged so now we'll just take numbers one by one 143 now 14 is 100 tens and 3 is ones place so 3 will be written in the leaf part now, when you write three, then we should try to arrange them in increasing order. So I'll write three kind of leave some space for zero, one, two, if any, right? So but we'll move on a sequence, in a sequence always. 143, so this is 143, 143. 160 means 160, right? 154, 15, I'm writing four slightly away because there could be other numbers on the left side of 4, right? 159, so I could write 9 almost at the end of my column. Okay, so this row of 15, I'm writing 9 almost at the end. 172, 172, okay. 165, 165. 162, 162. 171, 172. 1 146 146 165 165 176 17 let's say 6 145 145 165 165 182 182 175 175 you see how am I arranging these numbers in increasing order? It is kind of necessary, right? So 175 is the last number. 186, 186. 160, 160. 158, 158. 167, 167. And 172, 172. Right? So we've kind of filled up. And that is how our leaf, stem and leaf plot 
looks like. Well, sometimes you may be required to make another copy of it so that you could write these numbers nicely, right? So one, four, three, five, six, a bit closer than four, eight, nine, anyway. But this will also work for you. Now let's look into part B. So leaf, stem and leaf plot has been drawn. Part B is find the range of height. Range, what do you understand by range? Range is the spread of data. It is maximum take away minimum. So in our case, maximum is 186. Do you see that? 186 take away minimum 143. 143. And that gives you 6 take away 3 is 3. 8 take away 4 is 4. So we get 43 as the range. So the range is equal to 43. What is the mode height? Mode height means most frequent. So we can look into leaf part and see which number repeats most in any particular row. So here 5. We have got 3 5s repeating for 1 6. That means 165 is most frequent height. So it is 165, right? And of course, all this is in centimeters, right? So you can write centimeters. What is the median? Now, median is the center value. Since we have 20 students, average of 10th and 11th. So average of average of 10th and 11th, right? Will be the median. So let's count. So once you arrange them in increasing order, as we have done, Count the 10th and 11th position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 and 11, right? So these are the numbers, 5 and 5. Average of 5 and 5 will be 5 plus 5 divided by 2, which is 10 divided by 2 or 5, right? So, so the median will be 165. So we have 165 centimeter as the median in this particular case right so that is how very easily we can find all these parameters for measuring spread or averages with the help of stem and leaf plot now here is a question if you draw a histogram with this data will you be in a position to answer these questions Think about it and answer. Now here is another question for you. What percent of students, what percent of students have height greater than 175 centimeters? So that's the question for you. Can you answer? Percent, remember, we have to divide by total number of students, okay? So let's answer this. Greater than 175 means these three students, 176, 182, and 186. These th three students have height greater than 175. To find percent, it will be 3 divided by total number of students times 100, correct? So it will be 3 divided by 20 times 100 which is 15 right so 15 percent students have height greater than 175 centimeters so this is a very important question to understand and we can answer all these questions from stem and leaf plot if you draw a pie chart or a histogram or a bar graph you'll not be in a position to answer these questions which we have discussed and that is a huge advantage of stem and leaf plots. I am Anil Kumar and I hope you have greater appreciation for this kind of representation of data. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.